This is Super Germany. One united nation made up of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and all other German states. While it was indeed possible, this superpower never managed to become reality in our own timeline. This, however, is not the case in Victoria 3. As I'm sure you are aware, Super Germany is in fact quite easy to unite in Paradox's latest historical grand strategy game. Though, what you don't know is that this is possible as early as 1843. And today, I will show you how. So, in order to form Super Germany in the fastest way possible, it is going to require us to play as Austria. Unfortunately, you can't do this as Prussia, at least not the fastest way possible. Maybe you can, but I haven't figured it out yet. So, unfortunately, there are several points of this run where we may have to restart due to RNG, so hopefully we can avoid it, but if not, I will be restarting quite a few times during this recording. Number one thing is Austria, we are going to do our first RNG check and see if Russia will ally us. In my case, they will. For an obligation, we will take it. Unpause the game for a second, let them accept that, and they have accepted. Alright, that is step number one done. Now we're moving on to the next RNG check. So, diplomatic lens, we are going to be declaring war against Prussia. We are going to declare for the liberate country, Cassus Belli, select target, Westphalia. Confirm, unpause the game, and let it start. We're gonna wait until we can call our allies in. We are going to be calling in Russia. Now, most of the time, they are not gonna be willing to accept call ally. However, in my game, they will. If you do this, you won't be required to lose any of your land, which I will be doing in this video. This is the cheapest way to get them into the war. However, they may back out of the war with this one. So in order to make sure that they stay in the war, I am going to offer them a state. In this case, it's going to be Austrian Moldavia. This will guarantee that they don't back out of the war when we make our demands. Now, we're going to wait for this fearful to change to worried as the Prussians mobilize to the border. So pay attention to it, fearful, fearful, worried. Now that they're only just worried, we're going to add the war goal of liberate country Pomerania. If you do this before while they're still fearful, they may just back down. We have added Pomerania and we're gonna wait for this to reach 79. Now, this is our last RNG check for now. We're going to add one more war goal, and this is the most important one. That is Conquer State Brandenburg. If any great power gets involved on their side, you're going to have to reset here. Thankfully, we're not very far in, and it's pretty easy to reset, so we're gonna unpause and hope that things go our way. Unfortunately, they did not. Great Britain has gotten involved, and now we must reset. So I will be back once I've gotten the RNG to work my way. Okay, I am back at 79 again. We will try this a second time. Conquer State, Brandenburg. On pause for five days, nobody got involved. I'm gonna pause for one day, I'm gonna let this hit 80. Now that it has hit 80, we wanna make sure they do not back down, so we are going to add both of these as a primary war goal. You will not have enough if you use the call ally method of getting rushed into the war. This way, we have seven left over and they can't back out. And now we have bypassed our second RNG check. Take your armies, we're gonna add two generals. I'm going to pick exclusively generals from the landowners. This will be important later. Not really important, just a mild time saver. And we're gonna mobilize, send them to the front. Same thing with the 70 division. I'm gonna hire all four generals, mobilize, send to the front, fully offensive, and military wages are gonna go up. Two arms, strategic objective is going to be Brandenburg the capital. And now we unpause. Now, we are going to wait until Prussia has exactly less than 60 war support. As soon as they dip below 60, we're going to pause the game and we're going to do some funny business. All right, as you can see in the top right of the screen, they now have 58 war support. That means we can come over to our politics tab and take care of one of our future problems, and that is that Prussia is going to hate us after this war is over. So in order to fix that, we are going to take advantage of civil war flipping. If we have a civil war and flip to the opposite side, all of our diplomatic relations get reset, and thus Prussia will not hate us anymore, they will be neutral towards us. This is essential to doing this as fast as possible. So we are going to reform our government and add the intelligentsia into the government. This is going to give us an unacceptable government, which is good. Next, we're going to try and pass presidential republic. 82% of the clout in our nation hates this, which is what we want. Unpause, and here we go. We're gonna continue to fight this war, and a civil war is going to start triggering any moment now. It could be sooner or later. There it is. The goal is to have the civil war kick off pretty much as soon as our normal war kicks off. And it looks like this war is not gonna last that much longer as we have completely dominated Prussia. All right, we've won the war against Prussia. Now we need our civil war to trigger. There we go. Now, 
If you've watched any of my other Civil War flip videos, this is going to sound very familiar, but essentially all we do is wait for this to hit 99. Once it has hit 99, we will pause the game and then we will do a few more shenanigans. So what we're going to do is come over to the military tab. We're going to fire every single general that we have. Retire, get out of here. Scroll down, you. Boom, retire, get out of here. Now come back over to this tab right here, the war tab, and switch sides. Oh, look at that. We're winning now. Yay. Set all these guys to offense because the AI will just set them to defense at the beginning. I'm also going to hire more generals to push even faster, and we will begin. Now, this is where the RNG check comes in, because the attitude that Prussia has towards us will depend on whether or not we're able to do this or not. So right-click on them, information, diplomacy, and we have become unlucky. They are protective of us, which means we have to start over. We need them to be genial or cautious, not protective. Protective will stop this altogether. All right, so we are back at this point. Waiting for the revolution to kick off a second time. The war has been fought and a second civil war has taken off. Hopefully we get lucky this time. Same exact thing as last time. Wait for 99, fire the general, switch sides, check Prussia's diplomatic relations with you, and then we will move on from there. Switch sides, let's check to see what their relations are with us. It's protective again. God damn it. All right, the civil war is going again. I am ecstatic this is great let's do it i love it i love it this is my like seventh civil war they've been really mean to me but with giving prussia protective i know they feel like they're doing something but they ain't doing nothing prussia i don't need your protection you're an asshole all right all right we did it cooperative we'll take cooperative just not protective this is the next step all right now that we got the next step we can continue on with the plan so plan remember turn everybody to offensive we need to take care of them quick because it's all about speed. We are like Shadow the Hedgehog on crack. Obliterate them. Oh, damn. We just blitzed in there. Let's go. That's what we want to see. All right. Everything is looking good right now. We have won the Civil War. And, 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 and. This is the big part. Prussia is not protective of us. That is the biggest thing. Now, I believe Prussia is the only one that can become protective of us as they are the only one who are a great power at the beginning of our civil war. But as we can see, their prestige is kind of awful. So now at this point, all of the RNG should be over with. There shouldn't be anything else that really gets in the way. But because we've gone through three RNG checks so far, if you want to save scum, I recommend doing it now. Just in case something goes terribly wrong in the future in your game, you can have something to come back to and you don't have to go through the hellhole that is the beginning of this strategy. Now that we have Prussia as not protective, we are going to try and get a trade agreement with them. Now, easiest way to do this, export trade routes. We're just going to export every single thing we have to the Prussians. Every single good that we possess, we will be exporting to the Prussian market. This is going to increase their chances of wanting a trade agreement with us. And a trade agreement will help us increase our relations just a little bit faster and decrease the chance that they're going to backstab us in the future. This is the point where you can start building up your economy however you want. So if you want to do that, go and do it. Come over to your technology. We have to start researching nationalism. Now, it looks like we actually got lucky in that the AI chose to start doing nationalism before we formed them. So we're going to hold on this and then we're going to add central banking in the queue after. We need to improve relations with all the German states. So we're going to need influence for that and because of that we're going to rival the Ottoman Empire for more of it, Spain for more of it, and America for more of it because these are the people least likely to get involved with anything. We must improve relations with Prussia, with Pomerania, with Saxony, Bavaria, Hesse Castle, Westphalia, and Hanover. Those are essential. You should also improve relations with all the other small German nations, so pretty much every other one until you run out of influence. At this point, all we need to do is start grabbing people, putting them into our customs union, and just improving relations all across the board. Looks like Bavaria will off the bat accept customs union. We're going to take that. Now, once Prussia is no longer a great power, they should be more willing to join our market. That is the end goal. Prussia will likely still be a contender for German unification if they're still a major power, or if they're not in our market. If they're in our market, then they can't be the German unification candidate because they're under us. 
Because they're broke, they're gonna start cutting back on their battalions, and they're eventually going to reduce to a minor power. Alright, they fall into major. Now let's see, they will take a trade agreement now. That's gonna help us improve relations just a little bit faster than everybody else you can see over here. Prussia is the most important one to get. They need to like you, and they need to like you a lot. Saxony is probably the second most important early, just because you need to connect to Brandenburg, because you do not want to lose Brandenburg. Also, before I forget, fix your government, because your legitimacy is going to be at zero after the Civil War. Fix it up, put some people back in the government, blop, get it good. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to tell my economy to auto-expand itself, because that's just manageable enough. So, the only thing that we are doing right now is just improving relations with all the German states and trying to pull as many of them into our customs union as possible. Alright, there's the 20 threshold that we've been waiting for, time to see if a lot of these guys are willing to join our customs union. Saxony is yes. Wurttemberg, yes. Baden, will do. We will owe obligations to them, it's fine. Uh, Hess Castle, no. Hess Castle is kind of important to get in but not super, super important. We just need that so we can connect over to Westphalia because we need Hanover and Westphalia in as well. Looks like I'm gonna have to improve relations a little bit higher to get those two, but that's okay. And you're gonna see that our customs union has grown pretty large. Pomerania, we can invite them with an obligation, do it. There we go, now we are dominating most of all of Germany. We still can't invite Prussia yet, which is a little bit sad, but it is expected. This is not a big deal. Now, we are improving relations with all these countries because we are waiting for the German National Identity event to trigger. This event by itself doesn't do anything that particularly great, but it does enable us to form Germany. Down at the very bottom, it's one of the requirements. The German National Identity Journal entry has to have been completed, or Austria has pan-nationalism. There's no way that you're ever going to get pan-nationalism before that journal entry fires, so we're just going for the journal entry. Now, the reason we don't launch a unification plate is because we need pan-nationalism, and like I just said, national German identity is going to trigger before pan-nationalism, because pan-nationalism is super far ahead of time, and it's going to take you probably a good 10 more years to research. We don't have that kind of time. We are forming Super Germany in basically no time at all. Ooh, okay, so Prussia is in a civil war. This has not happened yet, but it's a good opportunity to get involved. Allegiances, I would like to support Prussia. This is perfect. Getting an obligation to help them is amazing. We're gonna be able to get them in to our market much easier than we would have otherwise. And it's not gonna be even close. We crushed Prussia earlier, and now they're even weaker, so it doesn't matter. We just got nationalism, which is solid. Doesn't really help us that much. We get a little more authority. But, you know, it's still nice to have. We're contributing towards the German identity forming. We're still a little ways off from being willing to accept, but honestly, I think I'll just let this hit 50, and then I'll absolve the obligation, go all the way up to friendly. Then there's pretty much no way they say no. We get them in our customs union, and that is Prussia locked down. Let's check our other relations. Bavaria likes us. How's Hanover? Hanover is genial, and Westphalia is disinterested. That's fine. These are all completely fine. If we come over to the Journal tab, we can see that the German national identity requires 75% of all German nations to have nationalism technology. We're currently at 62%, which means we probably got another year before this finishes. Our goal is to have all of these people pretty much under our thumb by the time it fires. Alright, Prussia. Will Prussia enter the customs union? They will. Let's snag them. Use the obligation that we got from helping them in their civil war. And now our market is the dominant market in Germany and pretty much Europe as a whole, to be honest. Hanover uh, will not accept a customs union yet, but I did ally them to increase our relations just a little bit faster. We really want to try and get all these guys up to 50 before German national identity forms, but it's not a huge deal if it doesn't. Come over and check again. We're still at 65.62. It's going to take them just a little bit longer to get this researched. All right, we just got Hanover. Invite them to the customs union. They're in. Westphalia, uh, they are still disinterested, unfortunately, so we may be able to bypass that by spamming them with a bunch of trade routes. So let's try that. Hard to be disinterested when you're suddenly flooded with a bunch of random stuff. And looks like they will still stay disinterested. Damn. Oh well, that's fine. That's not a big problem. Once I get up to 50 relations, I don't think they will maintain that. Everybody's at 49. Let's check and make sure we get all the big guys. It is just Westphalia that is still a 
slight issue. Not even a big issue, just a very, very minor one. All right, now we can get them with the trade agreement. And now that we have a trade agreement, they're no longer disinterested and we can hit them with the customs union. Boom, confirm, got them. That is solid for us. We'll check our market again. Yes, this is fantastic. Now at this point, just start improving with all these other smaller states because we're no longer improving with all the big ones. We just want them to like us enough. At this point, the only thing we're really waiting on is the German national identity. We're at 71 of 75. So looks like that's either one or two more nations, but I believe it's only one. So next nation to get nationalism will give us what we need and we are almost done. There it is, German national identity completed. This is the event we've been waiting for. Uh, it gives us, you know, it doesn't really give us anything. This event doesn't really give us anything at all. But what we can do is now form Germany. So we're going to pause for a second. We're going to let all these guys gather around. And we have succeeded because we got everybody in. They're all willing to support us as the unification candidate. I'm going to hit the form Germany button. A lot of you are going to be saying, well, you don't have everything at this point, but that's fine as it is going to get fixed here in just a second. Now, I would consider this to be super Germany. You've got everything. It's eight. 1843, this is seven years into the game. You can't get any faster than this. This is legitimately the fastest possible Super Germany in the game. But we don't have all the states yet. So how do we get all the states? That, my friends, is very easy to do. If we come to the journal tab, we still see that the Schleswig-Holstein question is still a thing. Most of the time you need to resolve this before you get the South German Federation and then you get to annex all the South German states. But because we haven't done that yet, we can now do it. So diplomatic demands, we are going to liberate the subject of Holstein from Denmark. We're gonna hit confirm they have a 30% chance to accept, and if they do accept, that is the fastest possible Super Germany. If they don't accept, we have to fight a small war, and it gets a little annoying. So we're gonna hope to get lucky, and we did. There we go. Took it just a second to trigger, but the South German Federation fired, and we annexed all of the other German states, as long as they like us enough and they don't like hate us. But that is Super Germany June 3rd, 1843, less than eight years into the game. This is the fastest possible Super Germany. Now, to explain a few things that could go wrong. First off, there's a slight glaring thing. We don't have Alsace and we don't have a state that we started the game with. You can just call Russia in as an ally, but I've done this enough to know that they usually don't accept that. So it's just safer this way. You lose one state, but you gain all of Germany. I think that's a fair trade off. Uh, you don't have Alsace, but, 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 but you do have return state Cassis Belli against them for very low infamy, which means you can fight a war against France later at your own leisure. Next, the way to bypass the cautious attitude. So this is a game that I played earlier today while developing the strategy. And the problem I ran into was in the nation formation, we have a small problem, Hanover does not want to join us and we can right click on them. It's not because of anything we did. They are cautious of us because they see us as a militarily threatening neighbor. Now, how do we bypass this? It is actually really stupidly easy to bypass, but also just stupid. So if they see you as a militarily threatening neighbor, delete your military. I, I'm slightly kidding, but also not. Uh, if we delete every single division we have over here, that will actually remove this modifier. So as you can see, we have deleted our entire military. This is gonna sound dumb, but trust me, it is dumb. It is dumb. So information, diplomacy, they're still cautious of us. We unpause. They are now cooperative with us because we deleted our entire military. Now that we are pathetic and weak, they're willing to be friends, which means we can hover over here, give it just a second, and eventually they will support us. There we go. Form Germany, all hail the Kaiser. Same thing as before. And then you just rebuild your military immediately after because it doesn't take very much time at all. That is how you would bypass that if that does become a problem. The only one that you can't bypass is natural enemy modifier because it's just random, but it is pretty rare after Civil War flipping to get that because you can't really be a natural enemy if you just popped into existence. And so this is how to form Super Germany the fastest way physically possible in the game currently. You literally cannot do it any faster than this. Maybe a few days, maybe if you get lucky with the research, but this is the fastest Super Germany and I will stick with that claim until somebody can prove me otherwise. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and you're able to incorporate this into your own game. Have fun being a absolute monster way before you're ever supposed to and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.